okay dear students so let us see this question a wire carrying a current i is at right angles to a uniform magnetic field of strength b the magnetic force f is exerted on the wire which force acts when the same wire is placed at right angles to a uniform magnetic field of strength 2b when the current is i by 4 okay fine so uh, we have done two formulas in our book the first formula is <coughs> the force that is experienced by a charged particle and uh, the scalar form of this was qvb sin theta fine so this was the scalar form just writing like that okay and uh, there was another formula and the other formula is i into l cross b so the scalar form of this will be bil sin theta where theta is the angle between the length of the wire and the magnetic field. So which is given as 90 degree here in this both of these questions it is written that uh, the wire is at right angles with the magnetic field in both of the cases. So theta will be 90 degree. So F is equal to this. Now this formula we are not going to use because this is the formula that we use in the case of charged particle and this is the formula which is just the extension of the other formula which can be applied on the current carrying conductors. So L is the length of the wire, B is the magnetic field and L and I is the current. So F is equal to BIL because they are perpendicular. So we will have only this formula BIL. So F is the force. Now in case number one, F is the force, B is the magnetic field, I is the current and L is something that we don't know because it is not given in the question. So from the case number one, we will find the length of the wire. So length of the wire will be given by F divided by BI. And now case number two. Again, we will be applying the same formula. The only thing is that L will be substituted here. In the second case, L will be substituted from this place. So f2 the case number two we don't know and that is what we are finding will be equal to the magnetic field now magnetic field is multiplied by two and current is divided by four and length of the wire is the same so now i am substituting this value here bi so b and i both get cancelled out and this will become two so it will become f divided by two so our new force that is acting on the wire in case two will be half of the force that was acting in the previous case. So this is how we solve it. This is how we do it. I have tried to give you all the formulations here because I don't know whether they would be given there or not, whether you would be having these things there or not. So that is why I have given the complete explanation here. Even if now you're having some problem, please do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely reply. So let us check the answer from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is B. So with this, all the best.